Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech it's been a long time i created the custom rom videos for the one plus not two because i was stuck on the oxonus 12 meanwhile in this period developer sakil and the team brought some major updates to the pixel experience and the new custom rom called as arrows os so today in this video we will see how to install new arrows os we will see is it daily driver or not performance and the stability days and finally i will tell you the sound mod that newly implemented in the rom with my final verdict so watch the video till then now without further ado let's get started you adventure you need to download the arrowzoid zip file which included with the gapps you must be on the unlock bootloader and the twrp install on your device basically you can do this only on the oxonus 11 not on the oxonus 12 so first we're back to the stock oxonus 11 you can watch that video from the iCard. Now boot to the TWRP and flash the Arrow zip file. Once zip gets flashed, then go to the wipe and do the format data and reboot to the system. ROM has amazing boot animation as this is the vanilla build. We did not get any setup like the Pixel Experience ROM. Just a simple setup. So after completing the setup, I booted to the pure vanilla Arrow OS with the quick step launcher. Let's jump to the about phone section to check the changes. This ROM is based on the Android 12 L or also called as the Android 12.1. It has the same old clock easter egg of Android 12. ROM has a latest security patch of June 2022. ROM has a kernel version of 4.24.284 plus built it with the Google client toolchain version 12.0.07. ROM is built it on the 23rd June 2022. Now first we'll see if it's daily driver or not by checking its basic functionalities. Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspots working perfectly. Dual sims with the stable OLT networks are working, but you didn't get the call recording in the dialer. Call quality is clear, no issues in the calling. Bluetooth devices are connecting and working properly with the high definition audio like LDAC, APTX, etc. NFC is available and is working. GPS is working fine with the quite good accuracy. Fingerprint is working without any bright light issue while unlocking the phone. Alert slide is working good, so it seems that most of the things are working. Now it's time to check the camera. ROM has the inbuilt Google Go camera which has some interesting features like some camera filters with the snapchat emojis. Its setting panel also looks different but this camera doesn't have any camera quality fine tuning options. So I installed the Gcam MGC build. So most of the features are working like the night side portrait modes but the slow motion is not working for the video recording. It's the known bug from the last all the custom ROMs while time lapse is working good panorama and photosphere modes both are working 4k 60fps recording is working but to make it work you need to enable the 4k 60fps tab in the advanced setting quality of the pictures and the videos are really outstanding similar to the stock oxynos camera but portrait mode pictures seem superior as compared to the stock oxynos camera i tested some basic things using the device info application all the things are working absolutely fine like the accelerometer, ear proximity, ear speaker, microphone, flashlight, multi-touch and the display. All the sensors are working like the accelerometer, proximity, magnetometer, compass and the gyroscope. Only light sensor and the barometer seems broken because this sensor is not available in our phone. Still I tested the auto brightness and is working with the some flaws like it's not perfectly adjusting the brightness as per the light conditions. So it's time to test the performance of the ROM. ROM feels very smooth and it has very good RAM and the temperature management which keeps the device cool all the time. I got the score of 800 for the single core and for multi core I got the score of 2434 which is very good score closer to the stock Oxynos ROM results without using the performance mode. Later I ran the Geekbench test on the OpenGL drivers and I got the score of 4795 and 4339 for the Hulkan graphics. Both the scores are pretty good so I accepting that we will get the better performance in the gaming that I will discuss in the another video along with the battery test. One thing I noticed in the ROM even after running this CPU and the GPU intensive task, device temperature not even raised above the 41 degree Celsius. It's ranging between 37 to 41 all the time I seen. Now we will see the features available in the ROM but before that we will see what's missing. As the ROM comes with the quick step launcher, we didn't get the quick switch of last 5 wallpapers which is available for the Android 12L. Pixel wallpapers are not available in the wallpaper and the style app. In the recent, we didn't get the quick access shortcuts for the web and the picture search. 
In the display setting, we gauge the color modes like the natural, boosted and the adaptive with the color balance. ROM has a new pocket mode feature which saves the battery without constantly checking the proximity sensors. It uses the proximity sensor only on the lock screen and works only after a few seconds when phone taken out of the pocket. We gauge the toggle for the daily data uses and it will be available at the bottom of the quick setting panel. ROM has the OnePlus setting like the other custom ROMs. In this, we gauge the charging feature which has a setting of the charging limit to save the battery. It has the game mode tab which helps us to boost the touch sampling rate, enables the performance mode but instead of this we also case the another game mode setting that we will discuss later. ROM has screen refresh rate setting to switch between 60 and the 90 Hz. This ROM cannot match the haptic feedback of vibration setting like the stock Oxygen OS but it has the low medium and the high setting which also gives the better experience of the ROM haptic feedback. So ROM has its own gaming mode under the apps, here we gauge the bunch of the options like disable heads up, full screen event toggle, stay awake, ringer modes, disable auto brightness and the lock gesture options, which gives us the enhanced and the interference free gaming experience. If we play the games, we gauge the small overlay for the game mode. Game mode has the different overlay tab like the screen recording and the screenshot setting. We gauge the three different game modes like the standard, balance and the performance mode. It has the FPS meter which shows the current running FPS of the games. Overall new gaming mode has lots of the advanced features which we will use in the gaming test video next time. Some other features are available in the gesture setting of the phone like quickly open the cam by using the hardware keys, lift to check the phone, press and hold the power button to use the Google Assistant, double tap to sleep on the status bar, volume button playback control etc. It's time to see the sound mod that implemented by default in the ROM. It's a famous wiper for Droid sound mod. It's working very good for the speaker mode. All the features in the wiper for Droid are working. But when we first time open the application, we need to enable the legacy mode in the settings and reboot the phone. And it should work fine. But I can't able to use the wiper for Droid for my Bluetooth earphones even on the compatibility mode, which needs to be figured out. Instead of this, ROM passes the safety net so you can use the all the security applications. ROM comes with the wideband L1 security means you can stream the Netflix or the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Google Photos app didn't have the unlimited backup because this ROM didn't have the patches like the Pixel experience. So this is all about the new ROM, it's definitely daily diver built with the amazing performance. Just only stock Oxygenos camera port is missing which may be only issue for some users except that ROM is outstanding performer. That's it guys for today, if you think I help you, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.